Thank you. So, good morning, everyone. I would like to start. Thank you all for coming. It's quite uh, earlier today. But let's start talking about uh, WP CLI. Uh, does everyone here know this tool already? No? OK. So uh, it's basically a command line interface for w WordPress. You can possibly all the things you do on your dashboard by using this command line tool. Uh, it's a powerful command line tool. This is from the, their site, you know. Uh, it's a powerful command line interface for WordPress, which allows you to handle almost everything that an administrator would be. Uh, it runs an MIT license. It's quite uh, good. Uh, and I would like to start by listing uh, some kind of things that I'm doing every day using this tool. It's kind of uh, download, install, update, and manage WordPress. Uh, install, activate, deactivate themes, plugins, install, uh, activate language, manage uh, Chrome events, manage attachments, database, perform basic uh, database operations, publish posts. Sounds uh, strange, publish posts using the uh, command line tool, but it's quite useful. User management, this is uh, quite useful on a day that you need to add and even update a password on command line tool, so you don't need to uh, go inside a dashboard to uh, create or update an user. So you can add, remove, update, loads, uh, load users from a CSV file which is useful when you need to migrate sites. The requirements to use WordPress CLI, it's pretty much that all you ha we have now on hosting. It's an Unix-like environment. They have support for Sigwin, but please do not install Windows and run PHP or anything else. Uh, it runs on PHP 5.3 or later and WordPress uh, 3.5.2 or later. If you install uh, this version, uh, 3.5.1, it will not run. OK, so I'm going to show you some pages that you see uh, comments just to uh, make sure you all get this. So. To install, it's pretty easy to install uh, WordPress CLI. You just need to download a FAR, run this FAR using those two uh, arguments, and then just turn it a runable, move it to your path location, and voila, you have WordPress CLI running on all your Unix-like environment. First things first, to download, it's quite handy, this, uh, this tool, to download. You can go ahead, uh, use your path to your site. This is based on an Nginx stack, so the var slash www dash slash your site. You just need to run wp core download, it will go there and download your WordPress, the latest version always. Then you just need to configure. What does that mean? It will create your wp-config.php uh, using those arguments. It means that you need to have your database already set up. You need to have your uh, password. Uh, the next one here, car install, uh, we will install your system using the URL, title, user, email, email, and password. This is great because you don't need to use the first user as admin here. You can change it. You can use anything. So you don't need to go into your dashboard and then 
create a new user, and then uh, erase the admin user. To update your WordPress as well, this is uh, how you can downgrade. To downgrade a WordPress site's not so easy without this tool. But using uh, WordPress CLI, you just need to use WP Core Update, which using just this part will update to the latest version. It's needed it's for the free, it's outdated. Uh, so uh, to downgrade, you just need to put this argument, version equals the version you would like to have it down, downgraded, and then put the force here. This will actually downgrade your WordPress version. Uh, it's not recommended, of, of course, but if you want to, you can. Uh, and then the last, last one, car update DB. Uh, even if you uh, include the core update, you might need to run the update DB. So customers don't need to go there and wait the, the process of database update. Uh, with uh, WP CLI, you can manage the themes without going to a dashboard or even downloading a zip file to install on your system. Uh, here are all the, the arguments, possible arguments, but I will show you uh, the basic ones. Uh, to search themes, it's quite useful. So you can use these uh, arguments and put here the slug, you know? So you will have here some great information about the theme. Uh, in this case, Glades, the slug, name, and rating on WordPress.org. Uh, then to install a theme, it's pretty easy. Only need to change the search to install. Uh, put the slug, and it will download the, the theme. And then you have this uh, theme on your system. You can, of course, activate this theme here on your command line. Uh, so you're seeing that you don't need to go into your dashboard to do anything. You can also combine the dash dash activate here, and then it will download and automatically activate the theme. So to list the, the themes, you can use these uh, arguments, uh, WP theme list. Uh, it will list all your themes installed in your system. Uh, it will also show you if there is an update available, which is quite handy if you are going to uh, make some maintenance on this site. You know, uh, keeping th themes uh, outdated, it's a uh, huge uh, security risk for your site. So you can see here, and then you can activate Perform the status. The status is not so useful. It will only um, show you the author uh, of theme. You can also update a theme. You can also use an update here. So just make sure you get it. The theme activate will change from a default theme to your uh, brand new installed theme, just like this. It's quite easy. Uh, to remove uh, a theme, you might need, first off, activate another theme. So before the letting, it will not allow you to, the, the, to the let a theme already activated, still activated. So you can, you need to uh, activate another theme and then the let. It will deactivate the theme and also will remove it completely from your system. If the theme has been properly coded, it will also remove all the things on your database as well. Uh, 
just like the things, you can run almost all the same uh, things using the for plugins. It's very, very cool. You can search just like this using a keyword, and then you will see almost all the plugins. You know, it's uh, 1,000, more than 1,000 plugins uh, with this keyword. Uh, and here is another great trick. You have these arguments dash dash fields, which you can use on almost all the things you can list to choose the fields you would like to have on your screen. Uh, the fields name are mostly the same uh, name on your database, the database fields. And you also can set the per page results, because it's 1,000, more than 1,000, so uh, showing uh, a little bit uh, less uh, results is nice. And again, the, the list, it, this is the, the full version of list without using the, the fields argument. It also show you the, if there is an update, the version, and if it's active and inactive. Uh, so to install a plugin, it's the same thing that on themes. You don't need to worry so much. You just need to run WP plugin install and use the slug. Using the slug will download the plugin and it will install. Just like on themes, you can combine it with dash dash activated. And then it will activate your plugin uh, automatically. And again, with that uh, WordPress CEO, CAO now installed. Uh, and here's, I think, the most useful uh, argument that's update plugins on WordPress CLI. So you, you know that the plugins normally breaks almost every site. A anyone here probably had uh, the site messed up. And then you cannot even go inside your dashboard to update a plugin. You need to download the plugin and upload it via FTP and then extract and then the site will be fixed. So using WordPress COI, you can uh, both update one plugin or you can run this dash dash all and you will update all the plugins on your site using just one command. Think about it on a huge server that has 10, 20 sites. It's just pretty easy to update uh, tons of plugins and a ton of sites just combining a bash script. You can run one line to update all your sites. And here's another great uh, trick. It's the filtering options on WordPress CLI. You can use here a name of field. Here, you know, it's update. You could be using version or status, but on plugins, of course, uh, the update is great to use. So using WordPress CLI plugin list, the name of field dash dash update equals a available will bring you only the plugins that has an update available. You can also change here by status and use only for inactive or active update plugins. Uh, and here again, just using two fields. So this apply on to almost all the commands on WordPress CLI. It's pretty useful when you need to, uh, to build some um, bash script to automate your job. Now, talking about uh, language, you can list the language, again, using the, the fields argument. You can download, install, activate, just like the same as themes and plugins. It's pretty easy. You can sh list your events, 
You can do anything uh, regarding to your event. So you can list, you can schedule, you can deal it. It's very nice. Um, while you are going to manage your WordPress site, sometimes when you migrate content from one site to another, you see some files that are available on your media gallery and other aren't. So this is quite useful to uh, bring all those images that aren't present on your, uh, on your media gallery to your uh, site back. The, here is just a uh, one line script to bring all the contents on uploads directory. Uh, so you can see here that this file wasn't added. So you can see that there weren't the thumbnails generated. And so you can just run WP Media Regenerate, and it will regenerate the thumbnails and also bring all those uh, images to your media gallery easily, very, very fast. Uh, here's one of the, my preferred things to do using WordPress CLI. Uh, while you are need to perform some database uh, interactions on your WordPress, using MySQL uh, command line, you need to understand where exactly is the database. You need to know the password. But using WordPress CLI inside the directory, you just need to run WPDB CLI, and then it will uh, automatically open the MySQL uh, CLI, and you, are, you just are on the place you need to be. You are on that uh, database for that site and nothing else. So you will not mess it up in another database or uh, another site. And you can just run all the queries you might need, just like on the regular MySQL uh, CLI. This is another uh, thing very nice is the optimize. This is the same of my score check. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it will run the optimize just like the dash dash optimize on on SQL. Uh, to export data, again, this is pretty uh, useful. You can export data, import data, run queries show the tables, reset your database, and run a search and replace. This is very nice when you are migrating sites. It's all, always a pain to um, run this search replace. Using WordPress CLI, it's very easy. You can also use the WordPress options to get some options on WP uh, options table, and you can list them using get, you can set them, you can also set using the update. Users, you, you can list users, create a um, list using the same thing. You can flush your cache, you can also uh, flush your transients, you can also delete all them. The rewrite is also another useful to change your, uh, your slug and then the flush just to make sure it's working. You can list posts. You can create a post. Uh, this is a uh, not so uh, earlier notice. It's just because the WordPress, when it moves to the 4.4, the WordPress CLI has an incompatibilities, but you don't need to worry with this uh, right now. Okay, people. So, anyone here has questions?